Social Abstracts, a KU Libraries video tutorial. Using subject-specific databases that are brought by the KU Libraries ensures that you will be using the most authoritative resources available. In this tutorial, you will learn about the database Sociological Abstracts. You will learn how to locate the database, search it efficiently, filter for peer-reviewed articles and dates, view a summary of what's in each article, find full-text articles online, order articles KU does not own, and print, download, and email articles. Sociological Abstracts is one of the main databases used for research in the field of sociology. This database covers multiple areas of sociology, including families, societies, and organizational structures, as well as the history and theories of sociology. Sociological Abstracts provides abstracts of journal articles, books, book chapters, conference proceedings, dissertations, and more. Start on the KU Libraries website, lib.ku.edu. Select the Articles and Databases link in the Find section. From the Databases A to Z list, select S and then scroll down to click on Sociology. On the next page, scroll down and click on Sociological Abstracts to open the database. Sociological Abstracts starts you on the basic search screen. To find more options, click on the Advanced Search link at the top. There are several ways to focus your search. One is by selecting the Peer Reviewed option if your instructor has told you to include this type of publication in your resources. Peer-reviewed means that the research presented in the article was reviewed and accepted by subject experts in that particular field before the article was published. Setting the date range is another way for you to narrow your search results and is especially useful if you need to find a publication from a certain time period or restrict your search to only the most current research. Some search tips that will work in almost any database. Use synonyms if your keywords are not bringing back enough relevant search results. Example, instead of just searching teenager for your target population, search teenager or juvenile or adolescent to broaden your search. Use quotes around two or more words so that they will be treated as a phrase during the search. Instead of returning possibly irrelevant records for items that include all your words no matter where they appear in the record, linking the words together as a phrase will ensure that you get results only if the words appear together in the order you've typed them in. Use the words and, or, or not to connect search terms in order to modify your sets of results. Use or to search more than one synonym at a time, which will give you more records to choose from. Use and to look for multiple words that all appear within the same record, thus narrowing down the number of records in your search results. Use not to exclude terms from your search. The abstract is a summary of the article. It gives you a quick way to determine whether the article is relevant to your research interest or needs. To read the abstract, click on the article title, the preview link, or the citation slash abstract link. To access the full article, you have several choices. You can select one of the links that takes you directly to a full text version of the article, either full text with the page icon or full text PDF if both are available. If these links are not available for this particular article, click on the Get at KU button. The system will search KU's other databases and link you to the full text of the article in another database. If KU does not own the article, you can request a copy from Interlibrary Loan. If the full text article cannot be found in the Sociological Abstracts database or by clicking on the Get at KU button, you can request the article by clicking on Request a Copy from Interlibrary Loan. All the information on the article you found will appear in the request form automatically. Click on Submit at the bottom of the form and the libraries will attempt to borrow the article for you. You will receive an email to let you know when the item has arrived and it will give you instructions on how to get the electronic copy of the article they borrowed for you. Note, you only have two weeks or four views to look at the article in print, email, or download it. After that, it disappears. To download, email, or print the article, find the full text of the article and choose either the email, print, or save icons. Thank you for watching. Finally, if you need more assistance, you can always contact us directly through Ask a Librarian, which is located to the right of the search tool on the KU Libraries homepage.